Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls. And this channel is made for adult doll and toy collectors. So today, we are going to be taking a look at the Rainbow High New Friends Blue Brooks. So out of the, all the new friends that came out, she was the one I was most excited for because she is supposedly on a petite body and I myself am petite. I am five, three and a half. So I got to throw that half in there. So I feel just a little bit taller than what I actually am. Listen, I am so short that LA, my daughter is practically taller than me. Yeah. So that's great. I feel like by the time she is in high school, she is going to be towering over me. But this is Blue Brooks. She, like I said, is part of the Rainbow High New Friends line. I did get her from Target uh, back during Black Friday. I almost said Blue Friday. Back during Black Friday, um, she was on sale. I don't remember for how much, but that's ultimately why I ended up getting her. Also, for some reason, she is never in stores. They have the purple one and the pink one. She is nowhere to be seen in stores. Like, what is up with that? But here she is in the box. And what I especially love about this, like, whole, like, style of her box is we got the palm trees in the background. And then we have, like, um, the ramp. I don't know what it's called. For skateboarding. Don't know what it's called. But I know it's called something. I'm pretty sure it's not just called a ramp. But I do love that they added that aspect in there. That aspect in there along with all like the graffiti and stuff on there that you would probably see if you went to a skate park i don't know i don't go to skate parks so um what is her focus her focus is fashion design and i think all of the new friends dolls are fashion design so it's like she's at the skate park with all her like little uh skater friends and then she's like oh, gotta go peace out guys i gotta go design some clothes and here's the back of the box. It features all the other dolls in the line. And it says, no matter their differences, friends are forever at Rainbow High. So, like, the concept of this line, with each one being, you know, a different, like, like different body diversity in the line. Also, each one of them being styled all differently. Like, we got Preppy, we got Tomboy, we got Girly, you know. It shows that in a friend group, there could be all kinds of different likes and dislikes, interests, aesthetics, all of that, but you're still like best friends. And I kind of like the whole message that this line kind of brings. I really do want to see this line continue, but I don't know if it is with the way Rainbow High is going right now. But if you are interested in Blue Brooks, there is her barcode. She is on Amazon. She is on Target. I believe she is available through the LOL OMG website. I think she was $26.99, regular price, somewhere around there. But let's go ahead and get her out of the box. All right, Blue Brooks is out of the packaging. But before we take a look at her, we're going to take a look at the accessories that she comes with. First up, she does come with a little skateboard. It is blue and brown. And the bottom portion says rainbow and like that graffiti type of print. I don't know what that print is called. It's called something. She's got blue wheels and it does move. Like the wheels do turn so that's pretty cool she comes out with a comes out ugh. she comes with a little thing of takeout like a little takeout container of food this is just a recolor of the takeout container that the rainbow high dorm house came with so this is just more like colored to like geared towards her color i'm making so much sense in this video i'm talking so well so well but yeah, it's like a rubbery plastic. Then the bottle of Gatorade, this or something, it's called Rainbow Water. You know, I'm actually really interested. I want to know what Rainbow Water tastes like. It's interesting. Interesting. Little handle on the side for her to hold it. Cap does not come off. It's just a little plastic piece. Your standard Rainbow High comb. And a pair of headphones. Say RH on the side for Rainbow High. 
Yeah, and that's everything she came with. Comes with. That is everything she comes with. She also comes with a stand. But let's take a closer look at her. So oh, the hair. The hair. Yeah. That beautiful, beautiful sound of the rainbow high hair crunch. And then we've got the back because they love to split the hair in the packaging. And this is what it looks like. So you will kind of have to fix it up. Now she does have like two little like pieces right here. I think they're almost like bangs and they are tied back, but I definitely going to be fixing this hair because I, I just, it, wow face cute mine has like a dent in her nose like it looks like a piece of plastic was on her nose and then they just like shaved it off i'm just gonna say it's a scar from skateboarding that works well and then this up here this little shiny piece that's right here on her forehead that's gel she's got a little bit of one on her cheek too it's just gel and it'll kind of like wash right off when you wash the face, you know, change up the hair. But yeah, we're just going to say this little, this little, uh, dent on her nose that literally looks like it was a piece of plastic and they just shaved it off. I'm just going to say it's a skateboarding accident. Brown eyebrows. We have blue, silver, and black makeup. So blue on the top. Then we got it silver winged out, then black winged out, then the lower lid is lined in blue. Beautiful red lips, beautiful blushing. She does have a pair of blue hoop earrings and that literally almost blend in with her hair. And one hoop has an R hanging from it and the other hoop has an H hanging from it. We have seen these hoops before. I believe they were pink. I want to say they were Mara, Mara Pinkett. Is that how you say her name? Is that her name? But I think they were like um, shadow high versions. We had an S and an H hanging from them. Moving on to her outfit. I do think her outfit is adorable. I see a lot of hate for her outfit. A lot of people don't like it. So she has this adorable little overall dress on. It is in a blue color because her color is some kind of blue. But we have a functional front pocket right here. And we have two functional side pockets right here. And... It feels like it's a actual like denim overall dress, though I don't know who is skateboarding in a dress, but you do you, Blue, you do you. And we do have the frayed edges down here, like frayed hem, which I love because it just works with her, with that frayed edge, like I am rough and tumble tomboy, but I can design some good clothes. And it is held in the back by Velcro. Underneath her overall dress, she has a black crop top on that says rainbow. And I actually like the color design of this. Like it's just your plain black crop top, but it says rainbow and like blue and purple. Like those colors together look really nice. Let's put this back on. Whoa, flashing everyone there. There. And she does have a cast on her arm. And I've always been so interested. Like every review that, not review, but like pictures that I've seen, she still has her cast on. So it's like, does her cast come off? Yes, it comes off. There's a slit right there for you to be able to take it off. And it just slips right off. So. Everyone just, I guess, kind of left it on. But this is what her cast looks like. It is blue, silver trim. Is that silver or is it white? I don't know. But it says, shine on, rainbow, hi. Get well soon, XOXO. Every time I see XOXO, I want to put Gossip Girl at the end of it. But, yeah. And her shoes like, okay, first off, the socks, okay? The socks are adorable. These little black and white striped socks, super cute. We have a piece of hair hanging. Like, I'm gonna have to cut that. That's annoying. But black and white socks. And then we have like these platform Converse type sneakers. I love them. 
and all the detail is painted. So they're black. We got the blue circle right here. This is RH, blue laces. And then the platform portion of the sole is like an off-white color. And the bottoms look like this. And like mine is yellow right here. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. As far as her nails, they are like a medium length and they are painted like this silvery pearlescent white color. Bless you, kitty. Bless you. They're painted a silvery white color. And as far as articulation goes, she is articulated in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and she still has this right here where you can turn her leg and the knee. Okay, and here is a height-wise comparison of all the dolls, basically. So we have Lilac, right? Lilac is her name from the New Friends line. She is the taller uh, Rainbow High doll. Then we have Hallie Capri, where she is just the normal height of the Rainbow High dolls. And then here is Blue Brooks, because she is petite. She's there. And then, you know, Junior High Poppy. R.I.P. Poppy. R.I.P. But you can see there is a can just a little bit of a height difference with her. So she's petite, but she's not like junior high petite. Okay, and here we have a body comparison between, you know, your normal Rainbow High doll and the new friends line doll so as you can see blue brooks she is petite but she is also curvy she is a curvy petite girl we love to see it and then we just have you know our basic body for the rainbow high dolls so there is quite a difference and i love to see it i just feel like we saw it just a little little too late with rainbow high i'm not going to get into it i've said what i've said i've said my piece on rainbow high but i'm also sitting back waiting to see what happens but also i wanted to do the comparison with hallie capri because i've seen a lot of people say no blue brooks is just a petite version of hallie capri honestly they could be sisters they really could but the blue is actually a lot different there's just a slight difference like you really gotta look at it to see if there is a slight difference so she is more of like a ocean turquoise type of blue and she's more of like a sea foam type of blue there's like more green in her than there is her so there is a difference in the color blue all right and that was rainbow high new friends blue brooks Honestly, I love her. I think so far she is my favorite out of the New Friends line and I have reviewed all of them. Um, I think she's adorable. I do love her blue color because this is type of blue that I love, not Skylar blue. I love this type of lighter type of blue. I just think her whole aesthetic is adorable and everything. Like she reminds me of me in middle school. <laughs> little, like, you know, a little skateboarder. That's like when Avril Lavigne became popular and everything and I like just took on Avril Lavigne's aesthetic with like the baggy pants and the tank tops and the baseball. Yeah, that was me. I was a little Avril Lavigne wannabe in middle school, but she is absolutely adorable. Like I said, I did get her from Target.com because I have not seen Blue Brooks in stores. Like she's just like not in stores. I don't know why. But she is available on Amazon too. I believe Walmart.com. She is $26.99, I believe, like regular price. I did get her on sale. But let me know down below what you guys think of Blue Brooks. Like I said, I love that the new Friends line gave us a body diversity. It was really nice to see it in the Rainbow High line. I just think we saw it just a little too late. But I really, really hope that the new Friends line continues because it was a really great line. I mean, it just kind of came out of nowhere. We didn't have really a story behind it or anything, but I hope that it does continue and they kind of build on it. Yeah. All that fun stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of her. All that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.